from the very beginning, the museum has always been about education. It's always about creating wonderful opportunities for children, for families, for teachers to come here to learn, to explore, and all of this through play. And to, to us, the commitment to education is paramount because interacting with school systems, with teachers, and, and with children here is one of the key elements of our mission statement. They learn everything that they learn in the classroom, but with a completely different methodology. No paper, no pens, their hands, their eyes, their ears, and their brains. My name is Miss Susan, and I'm so excited to have you in my class today. Today's class is all about shapes, and we're going to make amazing works of art with shapes. I asked some of you a minute ago to look around the room and tell me what you see, and obviously you see some great pictures, some artwork. The School Relations Program is a cornerstone initiative of the Glazer Children's Museum. It ensures that we can bring children from Hillsboro, Pasco, Pinellas, Polk, and Manatee counties in for a quality educational experience. We work with several Title I schools. These are schools that have children that have 80% or more uh, who are economically disadvantaged children and we offer them programs that are tailored to their needs and also, of course, offer them free attendance to the museum. Uh, and this relationship has been going on with them for the past three years and we see it to continue in the future as well. All right, thank you for helping. Keep observing, guys, observe with your eyes. It's gonna be done in a second. It's gonna be done in a second. This one's already done. There was no done. Which one dissolves the dye faster? One, two, Three. Hot! That's right, the hot. Now, why? The kids walk in, they're not always sure what to expect. Most of them have never been to a place like this before. And it's a school field trip, so they think they're probably gonna be doing something school related. Then they walk into a place with no books, no papers, no desks, and yet all around them they have opportunities to do the same things that they do in school. For multiplication, they can figure out how much cargo is going to fit on their train down in Kidsport. Um, for electricity, they can you know, connect all the dots and figure out what happens when you tie this to this to this and what the end result is. Um, so they come in and they're doing exactly the same things that they do in school except in a totally hands-on, exciting way and that gives them this sense of confidence that what they're doing in school really does have an application and it's going to allow them to do really cool and amazing things that make our community work. We learned how you can use the hot and cold water, that the hot, if you put the dye, it goes to the color fast. Great time. But when you go into Hello. the cold, it just goes a little bit. <laughs> that was awesome. In schools, there isn't as much time for problem solving, critical thinking, trial and error. We get to do a little bit more of that. We have a little more flexibility with our day in our classes. What's this over here? A Does that look exactly like a tree? The program we did today is called Shape Up, and we went through three main steps. One was shape identification, which starts them off with something that they feel comfortable with, uh, so they come in feeling like, I've already got this knowledge. And then we build on that with things like um, talking about collages, uh, through Eric Carl pictures and letting them make their own sticker collages and about how it's not important that a, something looks exactly like it as long as it's a universal representation. Um, and then we take them into uh, talking about symmetry, about how a thing can be symmetrical one way but asymmetrical a different way and lead them through that. Um, it's great to see them grasp that concept even if they've never heard the word before. Just that moment of Oh, I never knew there was a word for that. Not every child learns with paper and pen. Some children need to touch, they need to see, they need to hear, they need to do it themselves. On a day like today, when we have so many kids that might not ordinarily get to come here and experience this type of an education, it, it makes everything fantastically worth it. Children at all ages, especially younger children, learn through play. To them, play is the language of learning. It's the way they explore the world around them. And we really are created as a place to interact, for parents to be able to teach their children, and for children, with that confidence I was talking about, to be able to teach their parents something.
For the 2011-2012 school year alone, we served over 27,000 students from six counties around Tampa Bay. That's an enormous impact and one that we cannot do by ourselves. Offering free visits and programs to Title I schools is a very important mission for the museum. But well, we need support. We can't just offer this for free. It costs us money to run the museum, to have the staff to deliver the quality programs, to maintain all of the experiences in the exhibits. So the support that we need is critical to really just make sure this program continues and the service to our children continues. A circle, a circle or it's three dimensional, so we're going to call it a sphere. What are you making? A building. We need the support from foundations, corporations, and community leaders to come together and say yes. Learning is an extremely important part of the developmental process and kids can't do it on their own. Teachers can't do it on their own. With all of the cutbacks in schools, school funding, teacher funding, classroom funding, for them to be able to come here, use their resources, or come on a complimentary field trip like our Title I schools, it's needed. We can't take that away from these kids.